To add or import your subscribers, click Subscribers and then Add Subscribers. Here you have four choices. You can upload your subscriber list in the form of a text file. If you have additional data like names and last names, they should be separated by commas. And if you upload a CSV file, the additional data should be separated by tabs. The next option is to just copy and paste data from an Excel file. This also works with data from Google Sheets. The third option is handy when you just need to add one person to your list. Just type in his or her name, email. If you want the subscriber to be in a group, just create or choose one here and click Add Subscriber. If you need to add more subscriber information, just click Show More. The last option is to import users straight from your MailChimp account. Just click Connect and follow the instructions. To see the import process, let's use my favorite method and import 900 subscribers. First, I'll go to my Google Sheets, select the columns, email, first name, and last name. Right click and copy. Now, I'll just go ahead and paste it in the copy paste field in MailerLite. I actually pasted a thousand. This is because my Sheets file had more than 900 rows. But this is okay because MailerLite will automatically ignore these empty rows. And if you scroll up, you'll see all the email addresses. Now just click Import Subscribers and give it a couple of seconds to upload. If you wish, you could add the subscribers to a group or create a new one, like so. This is like tagging your subscribers. And here's a small preview of the specific columns. Here is the email. Let's make this column the name and this one the last name. If you don't want to upload data from a specific column, just leave it as skip this column. When you're done, just click Finish Adding Subscribers and wait a couple of seconds. And now you can see how many subscribers got added. Updated, this is for situations where you have new or updated data connected with the specific subscribers. And the subscribers who did not get added are here. And here are the reasons for them not being added. Some problems are obvious and easy to edit, fix, and save. Some people might have already unsubscribed and you will see them here. And there you go. Now you can return to your subscribers and also see the newly added ones in the groups view here. If you have any questions, just click help while in the subscribers tab or contact us directly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.